In this video, I'm going to walk through how to install Android USB debugging or fast boot drivers on Windows 8. On my desktops, I haven't switched over to Windows 8 because there's issues with multi monitors as well as um, I don't have touch screens. And I find without a touch screen, it really doesn't give the advantages of using Windows 8. But on a laptop, even on an old one, it is a lot faster and you do get better battery life. Um, so it's one reason I upgraded this three year old Dell to uh, Windows 8. So I'm just booting up right now. And as you can see, it is really, really quick. And we're already in. So if your manufacturer hasn't released a driver for Windows 8, you can use Windows 7 or Windows Vista drivers, but you have to disable driver signing. So I'm just going to walk through how to do that. Driver signing is important because if drivers aren't signed, someone could create a malicious driver, for instance, that um, a malicious network driver that could intercept all your traffic and send it somewhere else, or a keyboard driver that would re record all your keystrokes, etc. So previously, there was another method to disable driver signing but uh, some people have had issues with it. So this is method A. And I'm just going to walk through how to use method B, which is uh, foolproof. So to do this, first off, you're going to go back to Metro, open up the charms, go down to settings, change PC settings, go down to general, scroll down here, Go to Advanced Startup and Restart Now. Next up, you're going to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and this is going to turn off uh, Driver Signature Enforcement right there. So this will allow you to install any driver you want. So you're going to choose um, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement, which is 7. And we're back into Windows. So once again, this is the automated driver installer for the Xperia tablet, as well as the Tablet S. Here's the toolkit for the S3, um, a general website on how to install ADB, as well as the flash tool, um, HTC drivers, and of course my MediaFire folder. Um, so if you have the tablet, you can use the automated installer. If you've got an S3, you can use the automated toolkit. Uh, make sure you get the right one. There's different versions for GSM as well as um, international. This is how to install ADB for multiple devices and it also has links to uh, different drivers. So if you go down, there's drivers for Motorola, um, Samsung, etc. And this is the flash tool. So the flash tool once again has all the drivers for all the Sony devices. Uh, this is just this is the website for the for HTC, and if you go into downloads, you get Sync Manager, which is where the HTC drivers are. Okay, so once you've downloaded those, so the first method of installing a driver is to use an automated tool. So I'm going to walk through how to use the Flash Tool drivers. As always, make sure you're running as administrator, and the Flash Tool has a nice GUI to guide you through everything. So there's all the different drivers for the different devices. You can choose whatever you need. So flash mode drivers, fast boot drivers, Xperia S, and hit install. You can get the driver installation wizard. Just go next, and it should allow you to install. It's going to give you a security warning, and you can choose to install the drivers once you've disabled driver signing. And trust from Google, install. Keep installing. And at the end, you should have it all check marks. So once that's done, you can 
plug in your you can plug in your phone. And if I go into settings and turn us turn on USB debugging, so developer options and Android debugging. If you go into ADB and ADB is available for download in the description. If I type in ADB devices, you should get your Android device. And if you see it here, it means the drivers have been installed successfully. So that's how you use an automated installer to install drivers for your phone. Next up, I'm going to walk through how to manually install drivers, similar to the instructions for the Sony tablet. So here it says again, if the driver installation fails, you can manually install it. And this works for any Android driver if there, if there is a manual installation method. So if I plug in the tablet, you're going to get a yellow exclamation mark, which means there's no drivers. Right click and go to update, browse my computer, let me pick all devices, and then have disk. Navigate to where you extracted your drivers, wherever they may be. So just copy the path and then paste. Hit OK, and then there it is. And, and then click Install uh, Anyways for all the pop-ups. So once you've done that, it'll, actually, it'll show up in Device Manager properly. And once again, you can go into ADB and test to make sure that it actually works. So ADB Devices. and it should show up right there. So that's how you install drivers using both an automated tool or using uh, the manual method. So for example, if you try to install drivers without turning off uh, driver verification, this is the error message you're going to get. So Windows has encountered an error, and the hash for the file is not present because the driver is not signed. Uh, this is likely corrupt or something tampering, so it won't let you install drivers that aren't signed by the manufacturer um, to ensure that they're not malicious. So that's why you have to disable driver signing. If by chance you need to disable driver signing on Windows 7, uh, you can do that by just hitting F8 before Windows starts up. you'll get the advanced boot options and then just go down to disable driver signature enforcement and that's how you do it on Windows 7 but you shouldn't need to do this because by now most manufacturers have released uh, drivers for Windows 7 and Vista so once again that's how you install drivers manually and using automated tools the main thing is that you have to have driver signing uh, disabled in Windows 8 If you have any exclamation marks, it means the drivers aren't installed properly. Um, go to Google, find your drivers, go to your manufacturer's website. Usually you can find them just by typing in whatever device you have. So let's say uh, HTC One X ADB drivers, and there'll be a ton of websites for them. All the big manufacturers um, have official drivers, so it shouldn't be an issue. And of course, everything is in my Mediafire folder, um, at least for all the Sony devices. I'll upload a bunch of others. Let's see, if you go into Android stuff, there's a whole folder with drivers and flash tool, as well as ADB. Once again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or issues, please leave them in the comments.